Leadership is such a big topic. I could probably spend days and weeks and talking about leadership. And myself, I'm learning how to become a better leader all the time. Now, when it comes to managing people, one thing I've learned is people are not manageable. You cannot actually manage people. It is much better off to create systems so people manage themselves. In other words, instead of quote unquote micromanaging people where you are babysitting them all the time, you are you're hand holding on them all the time, it's exhausting and you will not be able to do that as your company grows when you have so many people on your team, right? So instead of doing that, creating structure, creating systems where you 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 paint a picture, you create that yellow brick road. This is the path I want you to walk on. Your job as a leader is to show them what would it take for them to be successful, however they define it. It could be financial terms, it could be in terms of status, in terms of the role within the company, how, whatever their goals are, if that person is the right person, your job is to show them, okay, this is yellow brick road. This is what you need to do to be successful. And your job as a leader is to coach them to be successful and walk on this path so they don't deviate from that. That if you follow this path, yes, you're gonna to get to the goal that you want. So if people are not manageable, manage system, manage the compensation, manage your infrastructure, and then you just need to find the right people, the right people to put, put them in place. I find that if you find the right people, very often they would, they would find the right thing for themselves within the company. It's not so much set in stone, oh, this is your position that I hire you for, and then later on you can see, oh, maybe he or she's got other talents. She could be here too, or she could be there too. So it's not so restricted. So within my company, you can have someone starting in a, a very junior position, like I'm talking super, super junior, and they could move up to a very pretty high position because it depends on the talent, depends on what they do, depends on the work ethics, they could grow. So I don't pitch and hold my, my team members. No, I hire you for this. This is only all you're gonna do for me. No, if they've got talent, because people change, people evolve, just like myself, people develop. That's, that's what I'm talking about. And I always communicate to all my team members the three things that I look for as the CEO, as the leader of the company. Everybody knows this. I want to teach this to you. The three things are number one, loyalty. Loyalty. Are they loyal to the company? Are they loyal to me, to the leader? Are they loyal to the brand? Are they loyal to the customers? Loyalty. I don't care how talented they are. I don't care how good the resume is. I don't care how smart they are. If they are not loyal, that person you cannot have long term in your company. Because loyalty, they're gonna stab your back. They're gonna go work for your competitors. Gonna steal your customers. All these things. If they have no loyalty, it doesn't doesn't matter how talented they are. So number one, what I look for is loyalty. Absolute loyalty, right? Number two, what I look for is harmony, meaning. Are they lone wolf? Do they work well with other team members? Do they gel with other team members? The, the chemistry. Again, if they have great talents, they are very good at what they do. They're A players. However, if they don't work well with other people on the team, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna last, right? If they're gonna be a lone wolf, that just doesn't work in, in my organization at least, right? So harmony, it's very, very critical. Doesn't mean they have to like everybody. Doesn't mean they all have to hang out at a barbecue, doesn't mean that. But during work environment and work time, they have to be able to get along with other people and accomplish certain tasks. So that's very critical. Number three, what I look for is results. Do they have the abilities? Do they have the capacities? Do they have the experience to perform the task at a high level? Can they produce results? Now talk about results. Can they produce results on a consistent basis? Because sometimes you have, you hire people, they may be able to perform results in the beginning, but they're not consistent. Or sometimes you bring them in for a certain job, for a certain task, you notice after maybe one, two, three years, the job has outgrown that person. They could produce results before, but they could no longer produce results right now. 
Now here's what happens. Loyalty, harmony, and result. If you have someone that is phenomenal at producing results, but they are not loyal, they are they don't work real well with other people on your team, those people, what I would usually do is I would hire them as contractors. They are the outside consultants, right? They are the independent contractors. I hire them because they're very good at what they do to accomplish a certain task, a project, and that's it, right? They're not working within my company and they'll never rise up to that, those key positions, those leadership positions. So there you go. If they actually, they had, they could, they're very loyal and they work well with other team members, but in the result area, they are okay. They're not like super, super result driven, but they work well with other people. They're very loyal to me, to my brand, to my organization. I have a place for them. They would probably work in customer service. They'll work in support. They will work in um, accounting. That's perfectly fine because then I can trust them, right? And that's okay. We, we, need, we need those people as well. If they are not loyal, but they could produce results, they could work with, well with other people, we've got a problem. We've got a problem because it doesn't matter, again, if they have results, but they, they work with other people, means they're good, they have good people skill, but they're not loyal to me. That person, doesn't matter how good they are, I would keep them in a kind of, let's say middle management, director level, okay? They might lead a little team, but I would never promote them to the top because loyalty is a problem, right? Chances are they're gonna, we're gonna work together for six months, a year, two years, three years, they're gonna jump ship work for somebody else. So I don't want to promote that person internally to such a leadership positions. On the other hand, if someone who is loyal, someone who works well with other people, who could produce results, who are lifelong learners, then it doesn't matter where, where they came in within the organization, I could promote them to the top, given time. They would hold an executive position in my company because of that. It doesn't matter their background, it doesn't even matter their age. It doesn't matter to me. If they could, they have all these three things, yes, they would be the key, key people within my organization, my global organization. That's what I'm talking about. So those three things. So when you're hiring, when you're leading people, ask yourself these questions. Think about, hmm, where are my people at? Now, if you have some people where you know they're not fucking loyal, they don't work, real, work well with other people and they don't produce results for you, guess what you should do? You should fucking fire them. Why do you even have them in the first place? What is going on here, right? You don't even want them in your organization. So ponder on there, think about how you can become a better leader and how you can manage people. If you wanna know more about leadership and managing and hiring people, comment below. I can do more videos on, on these topics. It's such a, a vast topic that could spend I could spend months and years talking about this, right? Because people are complex, people are complicated. Business is simple. That's one thing I've learned by mentor. He said, he said to me, Dan, many years ago, business is simple, people are complicated. Until next time, I'll see you in my belly.